Hello, today you can see how we download the, uh, the common line distribution of Ceylon and run the first program from the command line. Let's go. So today uh, we're going to see how to install the command line distribution of Ceylon and um, also the uh, VI support for Ceylon so we can stick with our, uh, within the uh, terminal and, and do it the hardcore way, not use the uh, Ceylon IDE. So the first thing we're going to do is download the uh, distribution of Ceylon. So we open um, Google Chrome or just any browser and we go to ceylonlang.org. We go to download. Then we have a number of command line distributions here. We have the zip archive for Windows or um, OS X or, or even Linux. Um, we have the RPM distribution for um, Fedora Red Hat systems. We have the uh, Debian um, distribution for Debian Ubuntu. We have on OS X you can do brew install salon and it will pick it up correctly. Um, if you're on OS X and since I'm on Debian, I'm just going to download the Debian package. So now that the uh, download has completed, just click on it and I just uh, install it. So here I'm reinstalling because I already have it, but that's besides the point, you would have an install button. Now it's installed, so we can go to the terminal and check that it's installed. If it's installed correctly, you will have a salon command. Right, so version 0 0.4, that's good. Uh, if you have the zip distribution, then you just have to set your path to point to the right way. It will be in the uh, bin folder, salon command. So now we need uh, to, s to install the VI support for salon, so we can stay within the terminal and not use the IDE. So let's go back to <coughs> salon.lang, we go to learn. And here on the left we have the uh, where we have the salon ID. We also have Vim support, so we go there. So we click on that link. So it's a Git repo for now. Uh, we will probably ship the thing with the distribution in the next version. Uh, we go back here. Now we're going to clone this repo. And then what we have to do is we have to copy a number of directories from it. So. Let's go there. So we need ftdetect, indent, and syntax, which we copy to our vim folder, that vim folder. And now we can go back here and we can invoke the uh, salon command and see what it has for, you know, invo invoking it. So the way it is is that it's a bit like in Git where you have only one command and then a lot of subcommands. So the sub comments are listed here. You can compile, compile for JavaScript, uh, edit the configuration. We have configuration files a bit like Git. Uh, generate the API documentation. We have the well the help. We can import some jars in Salon modules, uh, module repositories. Uh, we can create a new Salon project and then we can run uh, Salon programs. So we're going to use new and see how it's invoked. So the way it works is that uh, the first parameter is going to be the name of the template uh, which we want to copy uh, as a starting point and then the second parameter is going to be the folder in which we are going to put it. Uh, we have only one template for the moment so it's going to be hello world and I'm going to put it in the test folder. So the module name can be changed as com example hello world. The version is one, that's good. So do I want Eclipse project files? No, because we're doing this hardcore. Uh, do I want a build.xml? Yes, that I want. Uh, so now I go to the test folder and let's see what it generated for us. So we have a build.xml file and then a source folder with the uh, module sources. So let's see what we have here. We have a module descriptor, which says that this is the name of the module. This is the version of the module. We have a package descriptor as well, so which says that this package is shared, so it's visible outside the module. And we have a sample run file, which uh, includes a run program, uh, which will check if we have any arguments, and if we do, we will iterate them and call hello with uh, each argument, and otherwise just invoke hello. So hello is a function which takes a name parameter which has a default value so if none is given it's going to say hello world and then it's going to print 
uh, string template which consists of hello and the name and the um, exclamation mark. So um, the easiest thing to test this is to use the uh, end script. So we're going to start with that. Now we have to edit something in the build script um, because the uh, there's a, there's currently a bug in in the generator of this which will uh, not set the salon home correctly so you should set this property with the uh, correct uh, place where you have either the zip of of the uh, command line distribution that you unpacked or on on uh, ubuntu it's uh, user share salon slash zero dot four and now we can do and we have compile, compile JavaScript, uh, doc for the API, uh, run and run JS. So we're going to just go ahead and run it, which will compile it first. So we can see we compiled this module and we run it and it said hello world. So let's see what got created. We have a modules folder now, which is the output repository of the uh, salon module. So we have the path to the module and uh, we have a few archives. We have a car which is the uh, Ceylon archive, which is a bit like a jar, contains all the compiled code. A .src archive, which consists of the uh, source files and a bunch of uh, signatures and index files. So let's see what we would do. Let's clean this, remove this thing, go back to where we are, we, where we were when we started um, with this project and and do it in the uh, in the command line without the build script so what we would do is called salon compile and then see it has a number of parameters but it it would take a module name or a list of module names or a list of files to compile so we want to compile com.example.hello world it's going to compile it and now we're going to run it we want to run it so how do we do this? It says, okay, so we need module name slash module version. So we're going to say salon run module name slash module version. All right, hello world. And now we can pass a number of parameters to it. Right, hello internet. And that's it. You can find more videos online on uh, our website at salon-lang.org or on our uh, YouTube video channel. Thanks, see you next time. Bye.